everyone and welcome to Connection Yoga. My name is Kat and today we have 30 minutes of yin yoga. We'll be targeting our heart and lung region of the body, really opening up through the upper body cavity. So for this practice, I recommend setting up a comfortable space on your mat with a blanket and to have, if you have a bolster, have one on hand, a medium to small size one should be good, as well as a block. If you do not have these tools, maybe a rolled up blanket or a pillow could work. We're just bringing them in towards the end. The majority of this practice is prop free. So don't sweat too much if you don't have them, but consider if you do enjoy this practice, investing maybe in the tools to support your practice and your body as they do help in holding these postures as we'll be holding each of them for about two minutes. So two minutes one side, two minutes the other side, blah, blah, blah throughout so we will be holding but time will fly so focus in take care of yourself and by continuing on with this practice it is an acceptance of waiver of liability take care of yourself yet again be intentional and if you're ready let's get connected let's begin in an easy seat since we already have our bolster out i'm going to sit on mine, adds a little bit more comfort, a little bit more length in our spine. And begin to settle. Imagining a single thread lengthening up your entire spine to the top of your head. In this length, there is space to breathe. Expand, contract, breathe in, breathe out. shoulders as you breathe. Switching directions. Bringing shoulders down, neck long. Take an inhale. Drop chin to chest. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Head lifts up. Hip back, chin up. Breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Breath out. Chin. 
chin back, neutral head up. Exhale, rebound. Inhale, lengthen. Drop right ear to right shoulder. Two breaths. Head back center. Left ear to left shoulder. Two breaths. Head back neutral. Shake it out. Move to hands and knees. Set your bolster or pillow to the side. Starting with hips over knees, start to walk your right hand forward out, bringing forehead towards the mat. Bringing your left fist under your right elbow joint, one arm puppy pose. Be here two minutes. If the fist in your left hand doesn't feel right, maybe the hand comes flat. You can bring your forehead to your forearm if forehead on mat feels a bit too much. And then just breathe. Expanding. Contracting. Two more breaths. Lift up your forehead and thread your right arm towards the left. Right shoulder and ear comes down. Bringing your left hand out in front to support threaded needle twist thing <laughs> breathe here two minutes Halfway.
throw unthread slowly to tabletop and then make your way to your belly. Right arm comes out like a T, palm facing down. Left hand under the shoulder, start to roll over the shoulder. I call this scorpion, but essentially it's a pec stretch. So hand can stay in front. If you'd like to loop left hand around the back, your choice, your practice, two minutes. Halfway through. Slowly come back to center. Hands stack, forehead on the hands. Rebound. And when you're ready, we move to Sphinx Pose. Lifting up on the forearms, elbows under the shoulders to start. If the bend in the back is too much, move the elbows forward. Slowly lower back down, hand stack, forehead on the hands. Rebound. Mm -hmm. 
Moving up to tabletop, we start again the other side. Hips over knees, walking the right arm out for one arm puppy. Right hand or fist under the left elbow, forehead to the forearm or the earth. Chest is dipping deep, hips are reaching up. Slowly lift up and thread left arm to right, left shoulder near to the mat. Slowly unthread, coming back to tabletop, pausing, letting the spine reset, and then lowering to your belly. Extend your left arm out, palm down, and roll over, scorpion. Two minutes, focus on the breath sensation, dropping the brain and 
simply being in your body. Gently come back to center. Hands stack, forehead to the hands. Rebound. Lifting up onto the forearms. like a little bit more, you can press the palms, lift up the elbows into a seal pose. slowly lower down hand stack forehead to the hands front shavasana reset if you'd like to bend the knees wipe feet side to side feel free reset and then when you're ready lift up on hands and knees once more Bringing your bolster over horizontally, leaving space at the top of your mat. You're going to lower your belly onto it and cross your arms underneath your chest. So, slowly lowering on. This opens up through the upper back. Breathe.
when you're ready, lift up and switch whichever one is in to the top position and the bottom. And again, cross your heart. When you're ready, slowly lift up off of the bolster and take a seat. We're going to set up for reclined supine butterfly. If you're using a block, bring it in towards the top of your mat and then lean the head of your bolster against it, creating the incline and then sit in front of it. You can do this without, but chest opening won't be as great because we've given our arms a little bit more range to drape open than if we were simply on our back. And we're gonna butterfly the feet, drape our wings, and close out with last two minutes here. Side. You push up to sit up and take an easy seat. We'll close out together with one community breath. Exhale everything. 
breath in, breath out. Hands together at heart center, thumbs to third eye, forehead center. With heart and lungs open and in gratitude, we bow. Namaste. Thank you everyone for practicing with us today. If you liked it, simply like it. It'll be saved so you can come back to it and practice again, especially if you love upper body opening like I do. I feel like I step away breathing easier, feeling open and relaxed. So let me know how you felt in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. But otherwise, until next time, stay connected. Mm -hmm.